Welcome to this week's edition of the Queensland Premier Rugby Wrap. Round 7 saw Brothers and University continue their undefeated streak, winning every game they've played to date. Brothers put on a good show in front of their annual Ladies Day crowd, who got up on the defending champions, Easts. The match between Wests and Bond University has been postponed to this Wednesday night at Bond University, kickoff at 7.30pm. Here are the highlights and results of Round 7, Queensland Premier Rugby. In Round 7, we saw Brothers host Easts, winning 24-20. Sunnybank played Norths at home and got up 54-20. University too strong for Jeeps at St Lucia, winning 50-10. A penalty kick from Brothers, Sam Green put the first points on the board, but East's 5'8", Matt Brandon was quick to respond and levelled the score. Brothers outside centre, Clinton Knox managed a small chip and chase that eventually put the Brethren over the line, giving the Brethren 10-3 lead in the first half. Again, East's responded through lock Sam Fatal with a quick try just minutes later. Brothers headed into the break with a 14-10 lead. Tries from Sam Green and Luke Bocamp put the home side ahead 24-13 with just minutes left on the clock. Queensland Reds squad member Michael Gunn crossed the line for East's last try to close in on the gap, but it was too little, too late, as the Brethren proved too strong and took the win 24-20. While Norse remained winless in the 2014 season, Sunnybank have turned their season around to win their third straight match, downing Norse 54-20 at Old Mac Oval. It was Norse who put the first points on the board with the penalty kick, just after it was Sunnybank's breakaway, Chaz Mahina, to cross the line in the corner. Norse were able to run in a converted try and a penalty, whilst the Dragons capitalised on two penalties to round out the half 13-11. With Norse in front, the second half saw former Queensland Reds player Brando Valu make the line break before offloading to former Australian under-20s player Henry Taufu, who went on to score under the post as Sunnybank's star-studded backline looked hard to contain. A converted try to Norths and a penalty to the Dragons saw Sunnybank lead by one before running in another five uncontested tries. Sunnybank consolidated their fourth spot on the ladder after their win against Norths 54-20. Jeeps looked good for the game of the round in the first five minutes against University after prop Fred Burke went over for the first try. University shot back proving too strong with their forwards, picking off attacking metres at will through their counter-attacks from Tom Banks, Tom Pincus and Harry Parker. Jeeps look to have come out with stronger intent to begin the second half, but their resurgence was short-lived as they could not turn around a 26-10 half-time deficit. University scored 24 points in the second half and helped Jeeps to nothing proving their number one spot on top of the Queensland Premier Rugby competition. The Masashi high performer for this week was University's fullback Tom Banks. Congratulations Tom, I hope you enjoy your Masashi prize pack. University are sitting pretty on top of the ladder with 30 points. A close brother sit on 27. South hold their spot at number three on 19 points, with Sunnybanks and Jeeps who follow closely also on 19. Coming in sixth, the defending champs, Easts. And lastly, Wests, Bond University and Norths. Before round eight, Bond University and West will return to the field this Wednesday night, 7.30 kickoff. In round eight, we see Jeeps look for a win against undefeated brothers at Yoku Road. Easts host Sunnybank on David Wilson Field. Bond University are at home against Norths. Top of the ladder, University take on the Mighty Magpies at Akuna Oval. Well, that's all we have for round seven of the Queensland Premier Rugby Wrap. So make sure you head down to your local Premier Rugby club and see the stars of tomorrow, today.